Okay, we just finished episode two of our bedroom makeover and our bathroom is still a real life moment from that whole ordeal, but we can close the door to that mess or at least we can in our minds because with all the deep cleaning I have ahead of me on this day, I want all the light and good vibes that I can get. So I'm leaving the curtain open, but keep your eyes out of the bathroom and just imagine that it's sparkly clean, just like my bedroom will be shortly. So we are starting off in the bedroom. Isn't she looking so pretty? We painted the bed, added a new rug, changed up the nightstands, magically made our olive tree two feet taller, and we added these gorgeous DIY wood shelves and we even painted the entire room Benjamin Moore White Dove and I am just in love with it so far. But now that it's looking so much better I want to get it feeling totally clean and fresh so I'm starting by stripping the bed and washing all of the bedding including the duvet insert and everything. Then we will work on the rest of the room before we inevitably move into the rest of the house that you guessed it needs to be deep cleaned as well. So let's do this. I wanna hear you say it. So I first have to wash our duvet and the insert and the cover and all this stuff. But later on, once it's all dry, it's actually going to be like the next day. I am going to share something that I found recently on Amazon and it is incredible. It's something I haven't seen before, but it's basically going to be a hack for a way to keep your duvet really nice and fluffy and lay flat in your duvet insert because sometimes the corners can kind of bunch up. So stay tuned because I will be sharing that hack at the end of this video but sometimes i might be a bit selfish when you wake too humble might be overzealous Of course, there is laundry waiting for me in the washing machine, so I just continued on the process of drying all the things in the washer and then tossing my duvet insert in. I wanted to get this washing right away because I just air dry it, and so I know it's going to take a majority of the day to get dry, but I actually do not use bleach whenever I wash my whites, and I have found the thing that works the best. So I have been using Molly Says Whitener for so many years, and it honestly keeps my whites looking brighter than bleach does, but it's not a harsh chemical or anything so I love this stuff. I usually get it from Grove Collaborative just because that's where they have the best deal on it and I'll just get a few bags at a time but I will have it linked down below. You guys have to try it out if you haven't already. This stuff is amazing. Next, I just moved back into the room and started clearing off all the surfaces and wiping everything down. And you guys have to let me know what you think about these nightstands. I've been kind of talking to my sisters and kind of getting some ideas, but I think that I'm going to end up painting them and I'm thinking I'm going to paint them a darker color. So I haven't fully set my mind on it yet, but I think with the white background of the wall, it's just gonna look really nice to add like a nice dark pop. But if you have any specific colors or even just a general color, let me know because I am all years when it comes to ideas on this bedroom.
And to wipe down all of our wood furniture, I am just using the Method Wood Cleaner. This stuff smells incredible if you haven't tried it out before. And oh my gosh, this sweater, I was dying when I saw it. So I knew I had to get it because we have three boys and Bra is thrown around in our house all the time. So I just thought it was hilarious. But once I got my catch-all dresser cleared off and wiped down, I went ahead and just filled up my diffuser. I've been kind of getting back into using my diffuser more regularly. I don't know why I ended up falling off the wagon of that a little bit, but I'm getting back and I just love the fresh smell of diffusers. It just freshens your home, makes everything feel so much cleaner and brighter. Now this scent kind of smells like black licorice, so I don't know if it's everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. Next, I went ahead and just started watering all of our plants. The nice thing is I tend to overwater plants. And so the fact that these are a little bit out of reach up here, it's going to serve my plants well because they will not be getting overwatered. I can probably do this like once every two to three weeks, maybe once a month or something. We'll just kind of see what these plants are needing. But I love how these shelves turned out. I shared it in last week's video. So I'll have a link down below if you're new here, if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But I love how it all turned out. And it's just like kind of brought your eye up in the room and it's added so much life into the space. I'm so obsessed with these shelves and how we styled them. You've been with me when I laugh or cry. Anywhere I stood, you were standing by. With me when I'm fine. With me when I'm not. With me when I'm giving everything I got. With me all along, not a cameo. Every scene, every episode, in every video. Skip no scenario. You've been with me all along, all along, always on my side, you never gone. You've been with me all along, and you've been holding on, holding on for so long. Next, I'm just tackling our back door that leads right out to our patio. And I've shared this hack so many times with you guys. If you grab just a Swiffer, you can easily reach those tall spaces without having to grab a step stool or anything. Now, a lot of times I will use like a spray away cleaner, but honestly, this is my favorite is just using my E-Cloths, which you guys know I absolutely love. So you just get the general purpose cloth wet with water and then you swap between that and the glass and polishing cloth. You clean it and wipe it down with the wet one and then go ahead and dry it with the polishing cloth. And it's amazing how well it works. You only need water and you will be left with zero streaks. It's incredible. Finally, to finish off the room, I'm just using my vac mop. I actually shared a short video the other day of this because it's such a good deal and I kind of shared some of the details of that. So I will have that short link down below if you want to check this one out, but I love, 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 love this vac mop. It's definitely become one of my favorite time savers.
You're like an ocean, full and deep. You deliver me, and you light the darkness. What I can't see, you're always there to guide me. Cross any mountain, what's out of reach? Sail every ocean, you deliver me down any road where my eyes can't see. A river flowing, you deliver me. Alrighty, next I'm going to move right into the living room and give it the attention it desperately needs. And I know we're ignoring my bathroom for today, but although there is some makeover aftermath in there, it's actually okay because just recently it got a very nice deep cleaning along with our other bathrooms in our house and our baseboards too, thanks to Homoglow, which I am so excited to be teaming up with Homoglow in today's video. Now, prior to last week, I have never in my life had my home clean professionally, but we hired cleaners through Homoglow Homoglow and the entire process was honestly a dream. Now Homoglow is a five-star house cleaning service with really affordable prices and their website is super easy to navigate so you can instantly schedule a cleaner in your area whether you're needing a cleaning done for a special occasion, just a one-time cleaning, or you're wanting to add a regular cleaning into your routine. That sounds amazing. So how it works is you just go to Homoglow's website and choose the day or time that you're looking for as well as the desired duration of your cleaning and then you can pick from different cleaners to request. Now I was able to schedule our cleaning for just a few days later and oh my gosh, it was magical. That really is the only way to describe having your home professionally cleaned. So you can also sign up for their Forever Clean membership, which gives you $30 an hour on all future cleanings and you can book unlimited cleaning starting at just $19 an hour. So I scheduled more of a deep cleaning where I asked to focus on bathrooms and windows and baseboards and these ladies did such an incredible job. I am always the type of person who just adds more and more and more to my plate without taking anything off but this was really nice to be able to just enjoy some extra time with my family instead of having to spend it cleaning the areas that I dislike the most. I know we are all so incredibly busy so take home cleaning off your plate this time and head to homoglow.com slash this crazy life or you can scan the QR code to get your first three hours of cleaning for only $19 and I will have everything linked down below in my pinned comment as well as the description box. We got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together I was just talking to Kyle the other day about how I would love to have a clothesline outside. Honestly, we live in Arizona and I just feel like it would dry things so quickly. Plus, everything just feels so nice and fresh when it's dried outside. You get like that nice air and the breeze blowing through your clothes and your sheets and whatever you're drying. And I think it would be incredible. But I'm not really sure that it would do all that well with a bunch of balls flying around because our boys are always throwing the football or kicking the soccer ball in the backyard. But I have seen those retractable clotheslines and I'm really thinking about getting one because I think it would just be really awesome to have it when you want it but not have it in the way when you're not using it. Let me know in the comments if you have a clothesline or if you've tried out those retractable clotheslines. I would love to hear more about them just because I'm curious kind of if they actually work as well as they look like they do. We can do what we want to do because we got all the time in the world for better or worse we should stay together so let's stay
Oh my gosh, our fan. I have like a love hate with this. I love it because it brings down so much air and it just really circulates all the air in the space so well. But every time I have to clean it, it drives me nuts. It's like so hard and I'm always honestly so afraid of it just slamming to the ground and breaking everything. I mean, I think it is put in very, very sturdy, but it just worries me. So I don't do this all the time. Definitely only a few times a year, but it's amazing how much dust accumulates and how much dust comes off of this thing. Next on my list, I needed to pop my hair up for this because I was starting to get a little bit hot. But the next thing I wanted to work on was our leather couches. We have had these ever since moving in and honestly, I just love them so much. They are amazing because you never have to shampoo them. They really just kind of wear in over time. And so any imperfections just kind of look better and better as they age. However, everything definitely needs a little attention. So I'm just taking a leather conditioner cleaner and kind of wiping it down. And I actually just figured out for the first time today if I use a mitt it works so much better than a towel just because it's not kind of sliding around everywhere but if you have leather furniture all you do is just spray it directly onto your cloth or your mitt like I'm using and then wipe it down and you can literally just see the leather kind of come to life it adds so much luster back into the material and it looks 10 times better I'm going to be getting into like the deep spring cleaning in the coming weeks, but I just wanted to get a head start with all of this. I know here in Arizona, we don't have that extreme, extreme cold. We don't have snow, at least not in like the Phoenix Valley, but we have had some chilly weather, but I feel like this last week, we've kind of started to see that springtime weather come in and it's getting me so excited for spring and just wanting to kind of get outside and do all the things, get our house looking and feeling so fresh and clean. But I'm curious if you have already started spring cleaning or if you haven't what time of year like what month do you typically start that and I'm also curious how do you go about your spring cleaning do you go room by room or do you do more like task by task for example if you're doing task by task you would go through and do every single window and then next you would move on to all of the baseboards throughout the home or if you go room by room it's like you would do the living room and you would do everything in there so you clean your couch clean your rugs clean your windows clean your baseboards and then you would move on to the kitchen and kind of do the same thing in there. I have done it different ways over the years and honestly I don't really know that I have a preference. I think I just kind of go on how I'm feeling that year but I'm curious if you have like an official method to your spring cleaning and if so what it is. Our table is always our catch-all, so we've just had kind of random stuff on here. I feel like we still eat at the table sometimes, and I definitely feel like the kids use it a lot. Like, we we'll use it for homework and whatever, but it still is just kind of a catch-all area. But ever since we finished our kitchen, which, can you believe, it's been close to a year since we actually renovated our kitchen. So crazy how fast time goes. But ever since renovating it, we actually have enough seats in the kitchen at the island for our whole family to sit there, so I feel like that's honestly where we eat a majority of our meals now unless if we're having like a fancy meal or if we have friends over or something that's kind of when we go more to the table and so the table has been a lot more recreationally used I guess for homework and projects and things like that and so for that reason it's not getting cleaned off and wiped off every single night just because it's not being fully used like a dining table as often. I'm 
As I was cleaning the kitchen, I wanted to stay focused, but I found some new ads that I didn't realize that we had gotten in the mail just for some local grocery stores. And with the food prices lately, this has been so awesome to really take advantage of the super good sales that they have in the flyer. So I was just taking a couple of minutes and kind of writing down the deals that I felt like we really should take advantage of. But let me know in the comments what has been your biggest way to combat the grocery prices. They have just been getting out of control lately. And I feel like shopping around at different stores has just been the best way to kind of stretch our money the furthest. Over in the dining room area, I just had an idea the other day and I'm thinking about maybe adding some molding or partway up the wall like some board and batten and possibly painting like half the wall a darker color. I know this is so random, but as I was just sitting here, I just started thinking about it a little bit more and this is definitely very in the beginning stages of my initial idea on this. Now, honestly, it really doesn't even matter right now. Like I need to stay focused at the projects at hand because this is just my mind trying to open up new doors when I need to stay focused. Like we are in the middle of our primary bedroom makeover and I'm also about to go up to Montana and work on one, two, or three different places up there depending on how much time we have. So I have a lot of different projects that I'm kind of working on right now, but I'm already making a list for when I can move on to the next. Next, I did my daily sink clean. I will clean my sink pretty much every single day. Usually it's just once a day, it seems, but sometimes I'll do it twice a day. I might do it in the evening as well, but I do just like to scrub it out because whenever you clean the kitchen and you leave the sink not fully scrubbed out like this, I feel like it just doesn't feel complete. But when you give it one single minute to scrub it down and rinse it out, it just makes such a difference. It makes the whole kitchen feel so much cleaner. And if you are an OG to my channel, you know I've been doing this for years and years but if you've noticed that your drain or your sink can kind of have like a smell go ahead and add a couple of drops of essential oil it really doesn't take a lot but this will make the biggest difference in making your sink smell so so good and so fresh and you can totally customize it and use whatever scent you want but try it out and let me know how it goes Something that I get asked about all the time is this little blue light on our backsplash. And so what that is, is like a little sticky bug trap, bug keeper thing. I don't know exactly the correct terminology for it, but basically it just attracts bugs and mosquitoes and little fruit flies and it does an incredible job. So you could see on the back how many little flies it's caught, and this is just something that we replace once it gets kind of full, but it has made a big difference in not having so many little fruit flies. I don't know where they come from, but they're just always around. So this thing has really helped our kitchen.
here. I'm just taking a few moments to actually fold all our towels. As you saw, we were almost out of like our cleaning towels. And then I had a few of my bloom towels that I needed to just fold up. I will link the short that I shared, like kind of specifically sharing how to fold it this way, but it makes such a huge difference in storing your towels. Now I love my bloom towels. They are my favorite kitchen towel ever. They're super absorbent, really nice quality. They're oversized. I use them for just about anything to dry my counters, to dry my dishes, to clean things. They are just an incredible towel and I always have a link for them down below along with a code that will save you like 15% off. But I actually have something so incredibly exciting to tell you guys next week, I believe. I'm usually not a big secret keeper, but this is something that I've actually been working on for quite a while and I have just been dying to tell you guys. So I can't wait to share with you in next week's video. If you have any guesses on what it could be, let me know in the comments. Next up, I just wanted to take a few minutes and clean off our cabinets. Now this is going to be a very simple way to do this. It doesn't take a lot of time as you'll see. And it's also just super easy because again, you don't have to climb onto stools or anything. Now I will say if you want to do like a very, very, very thorough deep clean, nothing will be just scrubbing things down with your hand. But if you wanna do a quick deep clean like this, you can go ahead and actually use a clean mop head. These ones are awesome because they just attach and pop into your washer, but this will get your cabinet it's so nice and clean it kind of dusts them off as well but if you have any spots in your cabinet you can definitely mop them off like this and you will be amazed at how well it works you can also do this to your walls if you want really like any solid surface like this i would just personally suggest making sure that your mop head is nice and clean because you definitely don't want to be spreading germs from mopping your floor previously Once I got the cabinets all nice and mopped, which I know sounds so weird, but I swear it works. I just went through and vacuumed right at the base of the cabinets because the next thing I'm gonna do is actually clean the kick plates of the cabinets again with the mop and it just works so, so well. This is awesome because you really don't have to break your back. You don't have to be on your hands and knees scrubbing your kick plates. It's incredible how well this works and how minimal effort it is. Finally, to finish off the living room and kitchen, I just went through and vacuumed real quick. This is my cordless vacuum and I love it so much because it has really good suction, of course, but also it bends in the middle so you can get under the furniture really nice and easily. And I feel like it has a really good battery life as well. So I've had this one for years and I love it so much. And then once I got the rug all vacuumed, I just went through with my vac mop in here to vacuum and mop the rest of the hard floors. And I feel like that's again, kind of like the sink cleaning. It just makes everything feel 10 times cleaner like if you do all the work and then you don't do your floors I totally get it like I never want to continue on you always want to stop a little early but when you go that extra step it really just makes it all feel completely clean and like you've really outdone yourself <laughs> I 
like we're on top of the world I don't know if this is like the most satisfying part or the most disgusting part or just a little bit of both, but it always makes me feel very different feelings whenever I empty out the vac mop. It's just mind blowing to me that it gets this dirty this quickly. I guess there's just a lot of feet going around our house, but ugh, still it's so gross. Literally, as I was putting away my vac mop, I realized I did not clean the stove. I don't even know how I missed this, but I totally did. That's just one of those things. Like, you know, when you do all the dishes and then you finish and you clean your sink and you dry it all off and then you turn around to your stove and you realized you forgot the pots and pans or something. That's totally what this felt like. But thankfully, we do have an induction stove and so it cleans off with literally just water, which is super nice and handy. So I went ahead and just wiped it down with my e-cloth and then used my bloom towels to dry it off and polish it without leaving any streaks. All right, this is the next day. It just got too late and I got too tired, honestly, to get all of this sorted out, but we are back in the bedroom, back where we started, and I wanted to share that little duvet hack with you guys. So if you are like us and you have the duvet insert and the duvet cover, typically you will have some ties in the corner, and although it technically kind of keeps things in place, you end up having like a bit of a knob in the corner from the little ties. Also, the ties get pulled on a lot, and so often they can end up breaking or snapping off, and then you end up having to tie it around the actual duvet insert corner itself, and it's just like a whole thing. So I found these on Amazon, and these are little iron-on buttons that you can just put into the corners of your duvet comforter. So you iron one set onto the same side of your duvet insert, and then you iron the other set onto the inside of the duvet cover, and then you literally can just snap it right in. And it does come with two different sets, so if you have different covers or you have different inserts, you can use it for both, but this was so incredibly easy to do, and it's just made it lay a lot flatter, and it's way more easy to kind of change it out and wash them. So I will have these linked down below. They're incredible. And after all of that deep cleaning and tons of motivation, that is a wrap for today. We got so much done. It's never like the funnest thing to do the deep cleaning, but I totally felt motivated in the hopes that this is going to motivate you and just make you feel like you can get a ton done as well. And let me tell you, once I was finished, our home just felt so clean and so good, especially after all the makeovers and the house projects that we've been doing. It just feels really, really good. So I hope you're having an incredible day and stay tuned because later this week, I'm going to have a vlog for you guys 
is we getting a ton of things done. I might be working on some furniture flipping and just random bits. So be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. And just a reminder to make sure you check out Home Aglow. I will have all that information down in the description box as well as in my pinned comment. And if you are needing some more motivation, I am going to link one of my deep cleaning videos from my last house. It is so incredibly satisfying. You guys definitely want to check this one out and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.